part of India, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India, in 2006, after working for eight years in teaching corruption as a student officer, in 1998. He served as office in charge at STP Kakinada from 2007 to 2017, and provided services for startup and MSMEs. He was involved in the creation of the state of the art education facility. He was actively Serving as the additional director and officer in charge at STPA Vishagapatnam in the force responsibilities of promoting IT and ITES sector in this region by providing STPA services. You all know that Vishagapatnam is going to be the hub for IT and IT enabled services. It is at the right time for the right place, you know, uh, to position Vishagapatnam on the global map in terms of so, IT and IT enabled services. He is also a con student of, of our Vice Chancellor. So we can see many of the leadership qualities what the Vice Chancellor has can also be seen in his students as well. He is one of the most beloved students of our Vice Chancellor. So we are very grateful to you, Dr. Uh, Suresh Garu, for accepting your invitation. He is also an order officer for Indian DPO promotion scheme in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Also, he is involved in setting up of SCPA Center of Entrepreneurship and Industry 4.0 at Vishay Patnam Steel Plant in a collaborative manner. This is also another ornament to the Vishay Patnam, you know, by the Ministry of Information Technology and Communication Technology, Electronics and Information Technology, you know, they have sanctioned this uh, uh, Center of Excellence in Industry 4.0, which is coming up in a steel plant. He is also leading that initiative, it's wonderful initiatives. Our entire world is moving towards Industry 4.0. And this center of excellence or the incubation center definitely, you know, <coughs> is going to put the Vishal Gautam, the state of Andhra Pradesh, uh, in the area of uh, Industry 4.0, much, much ahead of others because of the kind of uh, leadership what we have to lead this initiative. And he received PhD in the year 2012 from the Department of Computer Science and Systems Engineering in Andhra University under the guidance of Dr. PVD Prasad Redigaro. Chancellor. He also published technical papers in various national and international journals. So I invite uh, uh, Dr. Suresh to take over the floor and uh, deliver his lecture and uh, share his uh, life experiences. You know, see, talking about the subject is uh, not that important because anyone can talk or the content will be available in the websites what the organization is doing. But what I request Dr. Suresh is to motivate, inspire you, sharing his personal examples, and the kind of challenges he has faced, the kind of new skills he has got to promote entrepreneurship. And particularly people who wanted to become entrepreneurs in the area of IT and IT enabled services, SAPI plays major supporting role. No? It is a kind of an integration center of itself, not the name it is SAPI, but it is a hand holding mechanism. The government of India, and they are the reason for India to emerge as a global leader in IT. Because SKPA is a very old organization, and because of their initiatives, India emerged as a leader, global leader in the IT. You know? So, he has come from such a great institution. And I request him to share some of his uh, uh, insights of his life, you know, how he transformed entrepreneurs, how he transformed companies, how he has promoted. Technopreneurship in the country, which is not, uh, I am not able to explain, but he is reading his biography that one can only explain in my own words, you know, seeing your inspiration, seeing your motivation, you have to trigger, you know, that is very, very, very important. Your heart will open one day and somebody touches, you know, somebody triggers it. 
So, thank you, uh, sir, uh, uh, for your detailed uh, uh, news profile uh, speaking about this. And good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning uh. yes. Yes. So, it is a kind of different experience here because uh, mixed kind of people uh, I'm seeing here. Some are students here, right? some are already doing some kind of employment also, right? So, now it is a kind of challenging to handle uh, what kind of uh, yeah. So as uh, Pushyadagar mentioned, like uh, to share the before start of this program, this uh, presentation. Just I would like to put before you some. You mentioned like specifically to share life experience. So then immediately triggered something what I have come across in my earlier career, right? They uh, generally. We cannot foresee what will happen in the future, right? So I want to share my personal information also with you all, so that because students they learn something from out of it, right? See, I finished my MCA in ninety-five during the period of ninety-five to ninety. See, when I joined MCA, it was very much in hot, very demanding course. Maybe your uh, uncles or your friends may know the kind of MCA at that time, during that time. Anything you want to say? My father is MCA. Yes, see, his father is MCA. And so, that is the reason your uncles or your fathers, your friends or somebody may know how demand it was during 90, uh, 93, 94, 95, up to Say, after finishing my MCA, I joined in a college as a uh, professor, uh, as a student professor. So when I joined in the year 98-99, I'm, I'm so happy because of my qualification, because nobody can uh, uh, talk about my qualification, because I always felt like I'm very much highly qualified at that time. Right? And the years are rolling on. 98, 99, 2000. By that time, new juniors are coming into the college as a faculty. Some of them are in data background, some of them are MCA background, some of them are MSc background. MSc also, they are qualified to teach, uh, go for the teaching profession. So I was in impression, MSc is top of uh, about, uh, about all these uh, courses. Somebody uh, of my friends, they are four seats. MCA is not sufficient. They are foreseen and they have joined MTech programs. But I still I felt like MCA is sufficient. And I have given advices to my fellow teachers. Your, your MSc uh, background, you came with MSc background. You require MTech program. You go and join uh, MTech in some institute. I suggested, but still I continued my MCA. At some point of time, during 2003 like this, my management of the college called all the teachers who are having the MCA qualification. If you don't do your MCA, if you don't upgrade your qualification, we will remove you from the qualification. We will be, literally they will. See, as long as there is no pain, as long as there is no pain, we can always be in a comfort. We obviously that we are in the right direction. So the human tendency is we only respond 99 percent of the people they respond only when the pain comes to. So then they then they told me 
to do to upgrade my qualification see after 5 6 years by the time i was married that is one more additional qualification so i have done my mps at 98 99 I would. I have come back. It, 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 it can be uh, very much easy to do. Uh, I am telling you, right? So I joined I am telling you, 2004 in the same university. In the morning session, I used to go to the college for the faculty as a faculty. In the afternoon, in the evening, I used to attend the classes. One side, my small son used to uh, come in between while I am going to the classes, right? So many, you see, uh, so many kind of gaps uh, means uh, problems comes as if you don't take the opportunity at the right time. Why I am telling this part is, if I could be able to complete MP after the completion of my MCA, I could I could be in some other uh, position or some other thing. Okay, so leaving six valuable years. Okay, made very much tough to be part of the race in the competition. So that is my point. This is one very good example what I learned at that time. So this you need to keep in your mind because only you see whenever after having the problem if you work on it, then you are missing something. You need to foresee what can be done, what is required. That is very important in order to fit for the future. So that is one very good example I want to discuss. As Professor uh, Tindi mentioned, I want to share some kind of life experience. I thought this is a relevant where some students are there. They need not miss. Uh, they should not miss their future because now the world is not that which is. Earlier, if any college, they go to any college, right? The colleges. They used to look for only placements. How many placements we got? Okay, how many companies? How many companies they came to our campus? Okay, how many? Uh, uh, what kind of MNC company they have taken? How many? Uh, how many jobs? That was the senior scenario, almost up to 2020. Now the scenario got changed. Now the scenario got changed. It is like. How many startups are there in the industry? In your university? Okay, means how many are getting the investments? How many? What is the growth stage? The valuation of the college now it is looking in terms of the startups, not in terms of the places. So see, you know, within a fraction of time, the things are changing now. See, by the time 2014, 2016, when the When this uh, startup India scheme got introduced, at that time we have only hundreds of startups in India. I think it is less than two somewhere around. Now, if we see the current rate of the startup raise in India, ninety thousand startups are recognized by PPI. Ninety thousand startups are recognized by PPI. That is also a fraction. See, <laughs> every every day is uh, see earlier. You should get one unicorn per year, like that. Now every month you are getting one unicorn. Unicorn, it is the valuation is almost like okay in the billions. It, it should be. in six in six months the fastest rate of getting the unicorn they got in six months itself. See the average time to get to turn a startup into a unicorn. A startup turning into a unicorn, the minimum average time is five to seven years. Five to seven years. But now we are seeing the the fastest unicorn in six months. A startup turned into a unicorn in a six months. So are we in the race? Are you in the race? I think many of uh, your students, many students, I think they are all in the student category. Right. So, you require what is happening around you is very much important. So, in the beginning, I told you now, like, so our parents might be well off. They might be giving very good amount to you. They might have saved so much money for you. Okay. People may feel 
the comfort with the background, but you need to look for the foreground. What is going to be your future? So when you look for the future, then only okay, you, your brain will open. Otherwise, it won't open. Yeah, in the beginning, I told you, like, see, when the pain comes, then only our the tendency is to respond to that. So don't look for the pain, okay? At some point, of, suddenly it will come to you. Then, if you look for the opportunity, then the doors may not be open. Right? Is it the open end? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thanks for, uh, sorry for troubling you. Hope I have not bored you. Huh? Then immediately, without I realized, I, I joined this organization in the year 2006. I didn't relax. Okay, I got this job with MCA qualification. Okay, I applied for this post in the year 2005 while I am doing my MTech. But by that time, I have not finished my MTech. I applied to this post with my MCA qualification. By the time I joined in this organization, I finished my MTech. Okay, then my qualification is more than enough. But I didn't satisfy with my MTech. Then I joined my PhD after joining this in the year 2008. I, we don't know what will happen at what time, right? So that is the reason I, 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 uh, I thought I need to upgrade my qualification also and immediately join okay, uh, PhD in the same Andhra University under the guidance of our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor. He's my guide, he's my mentor, he's everything to me, right? So the, I finished my attack in 2012. Sir has given the title role of STPI in promoting techno pioneership. Okay, it is a it may look as a small uh, kind of thing, but I I thought it is an apt title. Without discussing with me, he kept that title. I have not suggested anything about my title because he is a kind of he knows everything. Who can speak what he knows? So he came with the, uh, the title. Thank you for giving this title to me for this session. Right. First of all, let me talk about what SCP. Somebody is asking why they are coming with their own uh, everywhere in full forms also. Let me say STP is a short form of uh, software technology parts of India. It was set up in 1991. It is an autonomous society and the Ministry of Electronic and Information Technology Government of India. So STP role in the uh, in India is to pro the main objective is to promote the software exports from the country. With a special focus on SMEs and startup units. Software exports means we know many companies are working here in India. You name any IT company like Infosys, Wipro, Tech Magazine, these are all the companies. Capgemini, okay, Microsoft, Google, these are all the companies that are presently operating from India. What they do actually is they develop the software. What they develop the software is they have the international clients. They catch the problems from the internet. They work here, they develop the software and they export that software. That is the meaning of the software. So for software they export and they get the foreign data. So what is the advantage to the government of India for this? Oh, because when foreign exchange is this kind of thing, the second one? Yeah, exports. So exports means that is one kind of, uh, we are increasing the export rate, the other one is employment opportunities. <laughs> to the okay talent what we have in the right so with a with that focus has been brought in the year 1990 right we implement various schemes I think it's uh the these are all various schemes that we are bringing uh, to the IT industry to promote the IT industry in India. So this is interesting uh, that I want to share with you all when we started in 1991 <laughs> We have only seven centers in India. We have only seven centers. One is in Hyderabad, 
One is in Bangalore, one is in Pune, Bhubaneswar, Malta, Uruguay. Okay, these are all the locations. The uh, map you can see. But today, wherever we go in India, in the important areas, these locations, the major cities, you can see that. So, like that, okay, uh, the role of CPS in this. So, if at all in one location, CPS presence is there. It gives the confidence to the IT industry to start their operations in that particular location. I want to give a more, uh, good example. We started a CPS center in Kakina. How many of you are uh, of Kakina? You know Kakina, right? No? So, so, in Kakina, we started in Kudurza. When we started our operations in Kakina, one, one big, very big company in Hyderabad by the name of the time it was the Infotech Enterprises. Now it is called Sales. It's the chairman of the company, Divya Mohan. Immediately they started their operations. They started with 30 employees, later they increased to 50, later 70, 100, 150, 200, 300. They moved out from our CPA campus to also a private campus. Then they have taken own land there. They have their own ideas in the land. Today they are they have they have been employed to thousand professionals are working in that. Now it is a kind of inject, I think inject for Kakana IT companies. Because we move first automatically into our companies. That kind of success stories are there across India in data city. Okay. So these are the services we give to the software industry from the private to services. Data communication means internet services we provide. We are the first commercial internet service provider. Our business now, we are seeing many ISPs now, like Marathi, Reliance, BSN. Okay, they came recently, almost like this, after 2000. But before that, there is no internet service provider yet. BSL was there, B, BSL was there, and STPA. So, for any IT company to do the software export, how they do software export? It is not a kind of business hardware means by means of sheets or by means of flights, it will be so. If at all, if it is a software export, to only do data communication needs on the computer. Right? So, in that case, internet is very crucial. So, we used to provide the internet in the first commercial IT. So satellite communication needs to provide the internet to the IT industry. And also we do the incubation services. Just now I mentioned about the success we are trying to Like that needs to provide incubation services to all the top companies. So all, many of the companies have had the incubation in SPPS. And with IDPO promotion scheme that we implemented, that scheme in order to take the IT industry to the rural locations here. Okay, to encourage IT industry in the smaller homes and also to get the economic opportunity to the local. Okay, that kind of work support the uh, extent. And centers of entrepreneurship, that is the core topic of the relationship. And the NDIS is also related to the startup promotions. I will skip all these things. These are all the uh, services that what we are offering. See the export that what we have seen on the screen is like how it is increasing every year to IT companies uh, those who are registered in the So this uh, map you can see. If we, like, if we take uh, last year uh, 2020 20, 20, figures, okay, it was on the file like 8,000 crores of exports from SDP are registered in the If they do see the export policy of the government, somebody wants to export. On software group, they have to take the okay, register with some other agencies like SCP and SCPS. Right? So, those who are registered with SCP, the total value of the export is 5,000,000 crore for the last year, and for 2122 is 6,28 crore. The share of the SCJ units, some of the they registered the SCJ it is 5.3 crore. If we add both. SCPI and SCPI is almost like 11 and a half 
experts have heard of this governments. Uh, so during the beginning of uh, the CPI in 1991, it was only 75. 75. There is no lag or something. 75 votes. Simple 75 votes. No, now it is six and a half like from this. That kind of multifold growth we have seen in the software. Now the employment is also out of the same. See the total scenario here, uh, I'm talking about the 21 figures. IT exports in this was as it had estimated 150 million. And domestic, the local market, within India market is 45, and the overall it is 195. Coming to the segment wise, in the IT also there we have the IT services and also medium sector, medium sector, and the third one is interesting, it is the research development and product development. The share of the R&D is almost 23 percent, right? So to encourage, the, as I mentioned in 2016, Government of India brought Startup India scheme. Automatically, all the ministers, ministries are also involved to encourage the startup ecosystem. In that way, our Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology they brought, uh, okay, NPS, the National Policy for Software Products, in the year 2019. Promote the software, uh, I mean, uh, product, uh, software product industry from India. Almost to, okay, pool of software, 10,000 software product leaders need to, it is going to have the software product leaders. Okay. Also to, to nurture 10,000 technology startups by 2020. That is the kind of vision we have. And also at least 10,000 uh, such technology startups should be targeted to be set up in smaller cities like Vishakhapatna. Vishakhapatna is kind of uh, don't surprise it is not IT, it is categorized as a tier 2 city. Tier 1 cities like we have in India, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Pune, okay, Calcutta, okay, uh, uh, Noida. These places are bad, uh, these places are categorized as tier 1 city. Because you may know that uh, okay, many IT companies are placed are located in these tier 1 cities. Chennai is one of them. Okay. Second grade cities, second grade means it is not uh, determining that in terms of the IT or in terms of the property, government takes a different parameters into consideration. Okay, Vizag, Coimbatore, Mysore, okay, Vijayawada, okay, these places we call them as a tier two cities, right? So to promote the uh, uh, startup companies as a product companies from these locations also is one of the company uh, uh, government's office. So, in line with that, STPIS, STP is an organization under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So, we brought one Section 8 company under STPI. Section 8 company by name STPI Next. STPI Next is a Section 8 company of STPI. The main objective, the main, main objective of creating this particular uh, STPI Next company is it only works for the startup. Only works for the startup ecosystem. Under this SPPNX, as I mentioned in the earlier slide, two services we are offering. One is center of centers of entrepreneurship. The second one is NDIC. You can see the map here. After creating this uh, section eight company, we are having all NGIS locations in India. All NGIS locations in India. One of that uh, such locations we have in. This is all. All that location we have in Zero. Other locations are located, one is in Bhubaneswar, one is in uh, Bihar, like that, it is not uh, distributed to different states. And the second one is we have 22 centers of entrepreneurship across India. COE, it is to nurture the start, to support the start. We have created an ecosystem. All these kind of COEs and NDS. This is what I'm talking to you. Like uh, NDS is a next generation integration scheme. As I mentioned, one of the locations is in Georgia. Almost here, under this, we are doing some kind of challenge contest. Challenge contest where by name. 
चुनौती हमारे यहाँ पे अवार्ड है बहुत चुनौती ज़्यादा डिफरेंट है तो इट इज़ ए काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस वी इंपोर्ट एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम द स्टार्टअप वो आर हैव टू नो इट टू आइडियस वो आर इन द नो इट टू आइडियस ओके तो वी सेलेक्ट द स्टार्टअप एंड वंस द स्टार्टअप इज़ सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द बेबी टू द मेचुर of the startup we provide the complete support to the startup okay in the beginning we are giving the time for 6 months suppose if the startup is having three three staff for three staff into 10000 per staff 30000 per month we are giving like the support for 6 months then we will evaluate the startup if the startup is the venture with the growth is in the correct direction The quality also is coming. We support with the seed fund. The seed fund is twenty five lakhs. We give to the start. Apart from that, funding support we also give the mentoring kind of support. If the startup is having a is working in a specific technology, okay, it can be fintech technology or agri IOT or industry four. So the relevant mentoring support we also give. Apart from that. The incubation for infrastructure support. So, for any startup, they have to work. They require some work. The workplace support is there, and also the cloud services support. Also, means stepping into the NDS, qualifying under the NDS is a difficult task. Once you step in, that's what I'm telling. You should fit for the race. How how to fit into the race? Is, it is in your hands. See, for Chhoti one. We got almost like nine thousand applications, nine thousand plus applications. But we select at the final stage, we got only hundred and thirteen or fourteen from got qualified. Thousand plus two hundred and just you imagine, almost it is kind of one percent. Where you are, just you check that. Okay. So this is these are under uh, we so far we have done four chunoti program chunoti one two three four so far eighty uh, three startups we have selected from India and uh, we have given stipend to some startups already thirty startups have this part of three point one four one five four. This is about the CVEs CVEs SCPA support CVEs across India. As I mentioned in my earlier slide, we have 22 CVEs. Okay, in Chhaka Patnam we started the it is the 22nd CVE. It is the 22nd CVE. I will talk about in detail about that CVE. But prior to that, we already have 21 CVEs in the last three years. Three years. In Hyderabad, we have three CVEs are domain specific CVEs. Domain specific CVEs. In Hyderabad, we have a CVE on gaming and animation. So somebody is having the expertise, knowledge, innovative idea, they can be part of the CVE. In Chennai, we have a CVE for film blue. It is the fintech CVE, financial technology CVE. Today we are having, we are dependent on mobile. So COVID means on a negative side. We have seen the many uh, what sorrows with the COVID and also the advantage, the technology advancements we have seen, the digital payments we are going through our new mobile. It is fintech kind of application. We take Paytm. It is a fintech application. Phone Pay, Google Pay, all these are the, the uh, fintech related applications. So and see, enormous opportunities are there in fintech that domain specifically. That kind of support we are giving from. Chennai, and in Bangalore we have IoT related CVEs. So Arrow Electronics is very uh, one of the big company. They are supporting that particular industry part. In Bhubaneswar we have AR VR. You know AR VR role how the things are changing. Metaverse and some other things. <coughs> AR VR. And also we have Cab Lab also there. And in Pune we have. Automotive CVE, automotive means to support the automobile uh, kind of sector. 
Similar kind of these domains we see the COE. A COE is we have created in smart cities. Like that, in every area, in every area, in every city, most of the important locations we have created twenty two COE. Coming to the twenty second COE, Shaka Patna. It is a COE on industry four. How many of uh, are your Aware of industry code. Good, very nice. Anybody, uh, any input on industry code? It is amalgamation of all these technologies. But whatever I mentioned now, whatever artificial intelligence, okay, IoT, cyber security, 3D printing, everything comes into picture in industry code. Today, all public sector undertakings they are still in the industry two level only. Industry two key, industry one, industry two. These are all the different okay versions. For example, if you take the railway transformation, railway transformation. Initially, what kind of engine we have? Steam engine. Later, <coughs> diesel. Later, <coughs> now. Almost electronic kind of computer-based engine for us. That is a kind of transformation we are seeing in the railways. But still, the public sector undertakings, most of the PSUs, they are still in the industry to own. So mechanically they work. For example, if you take uh, the port or steel plant or uh, HPCL or uh, shipyard, they are still dependent on the manual practices. By means of introducing the industry to technologies, robotics, sensors, drones, they play the vital role. Say, for example, we all know the steel bars have been manufactured from steel plant. So, in order to identify, there is a grading for all the steel rods. Category one, two, three, four. How the grading will be done? Based on the defects on the steel bars. So the identification of the defects on the steel bars are being done manually. So if they do manually, so how the performance can be? Okay. So in order to overcome such kind of problem, they are taking the problem statements from all these PSs, like both of the CCL or CPR or CPR. So like that, in, the, in September 2022, we have announced the Open Challenge Program. By with the proper treatments given by the this team, with all these kind of problems, and we invited startups across India. Many applications we received, and we shortlisted to five. Only five, a five problem statement, and five startups are working. As a whole, we are giving one pro, not we. The seed bank is giving us both. One crore of project fund for all these uh, problems. Or opportunity is there. See, if you look for the opportunity, see, in your mobile, that you will get the results. Okay, they are, they are going to enter into the MOE most in March. And we are going to announce the next OSP. Two couple of years. So, like that, we are supporting the startup ecosystem across India. From these 22 CODs and 12 NGOs. Till now, almost 600 startups got benefited with this ecosystem that got created and invested in it. Hope you have understood that. So, from my side, if somebody, see, for example, if you want to do speed test, if somebody wants to work on AR, if somebody wants to work on metric, any kind of domain knowledge which you have, we will connect to that particular system. 
Okay, we will bring that ecosystem to your lives. Right, that kind of facility. As a facilitator, we come from the shadow department to any of the CVE. This is a general uh, uh, slide. I want to just to make you aware of the incubators presence in India. Okay, almost this is the scenario of 2020. We have almost 326 incubators. Incubators meet, do you know the meaning of incubator? It is a place where the startup works. It is a place where the startup works with a kind of startup ecosystem created by the incubator. Like that in India, we have 326 incubators. So these figures are of, of, of 2020. At that time, in article, it is showing like 17 only. Now, how the number works. So in this also, most of the incubators are located in South Germany. As for that, we have 46, Karnataka 34, Telangana 27, AP is 70. Okay, almost 25% raise I've seen in the last two three years. You can add 25% to these figures. Because in AP, more than that time it was 70, now it is 29. First, second, now 500 numbers were yeah. asked. Yeah. Well, that is the reason I'm telling you, I have 25% of these figures. If you take the sector wise focus in the uh, different different uh, startup, IT it is taking 33%, agriculture 19%, okay, other engineering and automation 15%, biotech 13%, electronics 4%, like the things. These are the different different sectors where may all the startups are working. Like I mentioned, 90,000 90, startups are there. All these startups are working in these three stages. So IT is playing a major role with that incubator. So most of the incubators are from government, only 90% of these uh, incubators are supported by government of India. We have PS, AI, MIT, MSN. These are the corporate government organizations uh, supporting the incubators. This is this is the under the scenario. This is the latest. We have 29 years. In this, we have Section 8 companies and also normal uh, companies, also Section 8 class societies, also. Yeah. This slide that uh, I prepared only for this particular uh, day only. Very useful to them. Yeah. Can go to any incubation center in our yeah. state and Coming to the startups register again, it is also over today. Now, the AP is showing 1187, but as of now, it is 1453 uh, on the uh, 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 this, these figures are of 2021. So, some key factors based on evaluation. Okay, some uh, study has been done where the things are happening smoothly, where the things are not happening So, these are, this is the category. Connection with mentors, human experts, business, and customers, etc. And assistance with fundraising are the most common services that are incubators are offering to the staff. If you go to any <laughs> yes, it is again a business. So that kind of challenges still the incubators are facing. Right? And the third one is incubators are performing better in cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Pune, Andhavad, uh, NCR region, uh, due to the presence of strong industry base. Strong industry base, we are seeing good startup ecosystem in the major cities. That is the reason government is focusing in the tier 2 cities by giving, promoted by giving the additional disciples in that. Okay. And the last one is 50% of the startups are failing at the stages of ideation, prototype, testing. I think earlier the speaker has spoken about the prototype kind of thing. So ideation is the beginning of any kind of thing. Okay. From there, the prototype. Okay. In the prototype also there are different different kinds of things like 
So all these phases you call it as a 50 percent. That is an actual 50 percent of any startup. In that 50 percent uh, task itself, 50 percent of the startups are failed. Hope you are getting a point, right? If somebody from the startups are there, by reaching the okay off way, 50 percent are going. Okay, in the remaining phases, like you can say at the stage of product, business model and scale, almost like the remaining 35 to 40 percent. As a whole, from beginning to end, we may have 10 percent of success. But in the scrutiny that what I mentioned for our Chinoti one, only 1 percent was selected. Understanding how tough, how competition is. See, everything is available. Are you fit to catch that resources? You need to test yourself. So this is the value of it. The water mentioned in the earlier. See, the start of how they are, see the right red line is the, the growth kind of thing. Ideation to prototype, some are coming up to the testing level. Okay, some are going up to the business model and they are dropping down. Okay, so most of the startups they make like this are uh, the business models. So these are the top 10 causes for, for business thing. Almost out of 142 startups are failing because of the no marketing kind of product they are selling. Man, again, and again, man, our own ideas is all innovative and this thing. Because they, man, we did it. Man, power and money, man, service, both are not good. Right? So, why do you think that? No use. Almost out of 140 to start up of that kind of time. Some start up because of lack of cash, almost like 29 bucks. Not the right thing. Suppose we know the chair and put it. All the technical expertise, what kind of knowledge they don't have because of the friendship. We start as a start. But as we move forward, <laughs> Real color comes. So, like that, 23% of the start of the day. Because they are not picking the right things. Next, not off competent, rising issues, user unfriendly, product without a business model, okay, poor marketing. These are all very important parameters for any startup to take care of. Okay. So STPI is playing a vital role here. Please also yeah. add one more parameter to IT. I, yes, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> IT is very much an important uh, factor for any startup to secure their uh, product. See, we are taking care of all these things. See, success rate of entrepreneurship 20 years, 10 to 15 percent. STPI is aimed to raise the success rate to 30 years. How we are doing it? By means of collaboration. Suppose funding is there. We are bringing the funders, investment, uh, angel investors. We are bringing in that kind of thing. Suppose no market need. Mentors will come in and, out and play away. Suppose if you are doing in a, going in one direction, the mentor will advise you. You need to change here. A small change makes a big, gives a big result also. See, for example, in the beginning, in the mobile, we have the Nokia. Nokia Chala Rule Jason, mobile uh, Chala. Can change in our adaptive story. What is that change? Smart. Smart, smart technology means Samsung immediate the adaptive story. We are seeing this. So, that kind of advice, that kind of innovativeness, that kind of approaches. The mobile is the same, your idea will be the same. Applying the thoughts is very important. Right thought at the right time is very important. So mentors play the way they are that kind of support. And all these aspects will provide the support. We have IT kind of uh, support, we have we got an association with the RBC. We founded a legal HR advisor in CRB. 
we are supporting it as I mentioned. So with this kind of a ecosystem, we want to raise the success rate of this country. See the scenario, just these are all the statistics collected. These are the top ten uh, top startup states in India. Nothing to speak on there, just because you can see the states on the screen. Number of startup jobs created. For example, if you take Maharashtra, 146,000. Earlier we used to talk with the IT companies, this kind of jobs. Now we are talking with the startups. Number of startups registered from Maharashtra to the Recent figures are 13,500. The last one is 13,500. In the top 10. Okay. Population is not doing in the top 10. Now we have only. A, 1500 startups in India. Now, uh, government is also very much focusing on uh, uh, Secretary uh, Saurabh, he is leading the state government, he is uh, driving the startup ecosystem in India. Now, I think, uh, I believe that in a couple of years, we will enter into single digits. That kind of uh, changes that we are thinking in the state of town. Right? Imagine startup hubs. We have uh, our business here. Our business is here. These are the top of the we have 95 million kind of money to be something uh, without the funding support for this company. Hope I am not going enough. I will discuss it here. Okay. So, this is the funding that uh, the Indian side of in 2022. It's 21 million of the start of the Indian world. Say, I mentioned that India's fastest unicorns. The first one is Mensa. In six months, they could able to turn the startup as a unicorn. You are getting next company. I think I'm not able to see here. Yes. Yes. yes, seven months. Next, in one point means one year, five months. Next, one year, six months. So the maximum it is really. Very much surprising to see the max in this particular slide within three years the trade got a unicorn status. One year back when I studied it, the average time is five to seven years. In the next five years, you can see now how we are talking about the numbers in the startup, you will surprise to then see the unicorn numbers we will have from India. Government of India is encouraging like anything to the startup. If you have the zeal, if you have the vision, okay, focus on it. Then become a startup. Out of your years, you can be an unicorn. Unicorns in the next three years, okay. And those to produce a maximum number of units in the next two years, almost like that. 43%. Okay. These are, these are the uh, pictures. I have a 3%, Chennai 3%, and I have a 3%, and others 10%. Then we actually have a rate of increase again to 16%. Mumbai 25-20%. From these regions, see, because there, the ecosystem is very strong. So I came from Gujarat State a few months back home. Right? Very strong ecosystem I have seen in there. They have a higher IM Ahmedabad. They have their own section 8 company called CII. They're producing very quality based stuff. Okay, again we have their IIT Gandhi. Very good startup. India's famous uh, incubator is the IPA by name IPA. It was inaugurated by our Adam PM and Israel. Uh, that kind of ecosystem was created there. Okay, when there is a strong ecosystem, automatically the sort of number gets budget. Our government is also focusing more on startups. Right? Startups 20, 25 projections. Expecting 250 unicorns. Presently, we have 110 unicorns. Because the numbers are also changing. 
was becoming very difficult to memorize the numbers because yesterday, uh, one month back, it was 107. Okay, today it got increased. Tomorrow, it will again it is 10. In my slide, in fact, I have 86,455 startups one month back. Today it is 90,000. Yesterday, I don't know. Okay. So that's all from my side. So thank you all for patiently listening to me. I hope this session helped you in terms of uh, understanding where you are. Right? I wish uh, all the success to your people. Thank you. Thank you, Pujatu.